2022, yeah. What Where's year? he cooking? Oh my god, years are fake to me. But yeah, quit, of course. LMBM 2022 winner. Uh, literally, winner. Bro won it all. Bro, on, bro came out of nowhere, won, won everything at once. And D Dog, y'all know who D Dog is. D Dog, Mr. Steve himself. Like, the man. Y'all got it. The myth. The boy. The Dale legends. Dog stepping up against both of them legends. Quids. Love both these guys. We're starting out on PS2. Steve versus PT. Now, I've heard a couple things about this match, specifically from my boy Beast. PT does pretty well in this match. Specifically, I was sort of pretty well in this match, though. Yes, because we saw earlier, a little bit earlier, with uh, it was D Dog versus um, Yoda Cage. Yoda Cage trying to go for that like kind of mid long range game. And it was working a, a, a while or for a while, and that's because Steve has to be in your face to do anything he really exactly. wants, right? So we have Squirtle and you have um, at least Ivysaur who have some kind of projectiles or some kind of push a back mechanic. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be really good in this matchup. That's the one like detriment to Steve, right? Is that his he has minecart besides that he has no great options to get in. He's like well, it's a relatively slow character, right? The, the low jump height. Not gonna have the greatest range. So you know, if you're able to stop him from getting, if you use Ivy Sword just like this, play around this big range, then D Dog really just has to opt for like dash tax or mine cards. If you have the parries unlocked just like that, it don't matter though. Fine. Exactly. Exactly. It don't matter though, cause Quid absolutely parries all of that, and Quid's clearly keep, uh, keeping this game kind of in his favor a lot. D Dog at 127% already, uh, kind of struggling right here, not even getting any diamond, not getting any gold either for some reinforced mine card action. Bro's kind of, Bro's kind of getting nared by this Ivy Sword there. He's He's struggling right now. Even the Elytra is not able to come out of these Razor Leaves. And... Let's yeah. Grab into the Nair, Nair and that's gonna do it. Nice job. Quid's Ivysaur has been super consistent lately. Using those disjoints, using that Razor Leaf, that projectile. Keep the steep out of your face. Definitely very good stuff. Now he's just trying to play this neutral game. Trying to play back here, using that Fourier to destroy those blocks. Playing around that TNT. He pops out of the mic oh! and that up smash is going to do a nice chase from D-Dog. I cannot lie, that was kind of nice stuff from D-Dog, knowing that when you mash out a minecart, you're going to always kind of go the same direction, the same way you're facing uh, slightly up. So it's like, I'm going to just scoop you with, the, with my big ol' up smash, which does not take any block it's just, it's just chilling, and I'm going to kill you for it. But right now, finally, quick coming back down to the Angel Platform Array, making a nice 30% uh, clean for himself on D-Dog, and immediately making the switch to Ivy Sword for some extra damage into the upbeat from the Nair. And look at this, the Razor Leaves are going to be working, putting in all the work right now. Oh, big Razor Leaves there, trying to catch that recovery there from D-Dog. Struggling to land, not able to catch that air dog, unfortunately. Missing the fine one, but instead finding the up air. That's the thing, that is the Ivysaur tech chaser. That's the Ivysaur tech trap right there. Where you Throughout the minecart, you missed the vine whip. You just opt for that up air instead. And that's the thing about Steve, right? Is that once you burn that minecart, you're stuck there. You have to wait a second before you can jump out. And that's the punish that Quid's going for. Absolutely. Really catching that insane. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot the word. Minecart? Yeah. I mean, you're absolutely right. Quid is just waiting out the game, knowing that Dido's always going always to go for the same kind of approaches as all Steve's do. They're going for those mine carts. They're going for that jump out. They're going for that back air. And if you stuff out that recover that 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 mine car with Razor Leaf, like right there, Razor Leaf into the up air, try and get a second up air. And D Dog, I think, wisely going for the anvil to uh, punish that often from Ivy Sword from Quid, but unfortunately just not making the connect. And now we are struggling to even make an even game right now with 100% with one stock left. What can we see here? We're seeing Dido try and get some more resources. Oh yeah, D Dog. Oh, wait for the You're air crazy. dodge. Golly. The Excellent. Ivysaur Classic, but adding a little extra step in there, waiting for that air dodge, and of course, Quid taking that game one with a two-stock. With an, a convincing two-stock at that, you know. Quid was absolutely calm, cool, collected the entire time during that set. Just knew what D-Dog -Dog was going to go for, knew what Steve really wants to do, knew the kind of range that Steve wants to play with, and Quid was like, I'm literally Ivysaur. <laughs> I'm literally Ivysaur. Quid Don't play with Ivysaur. me. He pulled through. He played very well that game. Honestly, the way that D Dog really needs to adapt here is just like trying to play safer around those reasons. Ooh. Like I'm liking the FD pick here. You know, it's like you have a lot less space really for uh, Ivys to kind of like run away from you. So you said you can get in, find your grabs, and get your Steve combos up in, in a decent manner. Absolutely, and with the lack of platforms, that really gives Quid uh, no extra space to run around when even try and tuck himself into the dirt blocks over there. But I love the use of the down tilts from. Uh, from Quid just to get D Dog off of him, and he had no option blocked by his own blocks to do any kind of aerial options. But finally, going in with these up tilts uh, from the blocks, play from the block placements as well. And now, oh, the Squirtle is working wonders, just running all around Steve. 
Oh, there we go. Catching that landing there now. Quid just getting some more damage up. That Squirtle backer putting in so much work. Now, Wando just trying to get back in, but the way that Quid is using those Squirtle Heptiles and then those Razor Leaves once again stopping this Steve from approaching. This is the counterplay that you are all asking for. Literally, throw out those disjoints, stop Steve from playing his game, and he has literally no option but to sit there, sip his blocks, and just get more materials. Absolutely. And he has to hold that, especially if you stuff out Steve's area, uh, area of using the crafting table. Bro can't mine anything, bro can't, you know, upgrade his weapons, can't make, make himself stronger, can't get diamond, can't get anything, and it just works out. Look at the rapid lead, the rapid jab as well coming out with the extra extra rage lead, trying to get the up tilt, but nearly missing the up air, just wasn't in the right hitbox for that, but we're getting the fourth throw instead in our stead, and narrowly missing that light drop. <laughs> he bounced off the stage and avoid the rage in the d Ew! He hit him with like a, he like brushed past him in the hallway, bro. That was, that <laughs> was gross. <laughs> Bro, brush, brush, brush past him in the hallway. I'm gonna say, they were shoulder to shoulder for a second there. And look at Quid using the little space that D-Dog accidentally put on the blocks as a way to get some more damage with the Razor Leaf. D-Dog is completely lost here. Honestly, though, I'm loving the way that Quid's using these aerials, using that forward air to get straight through those blocks. Absolutely no nonsense. He's trying to shoot the cornhole here, trying to find the Razor Leaf, but not able to find it just yet. Now, D-Dog doing everything in his power to find a mine here, find these tools. But said using that mine, uh, getting rid of old materials, dropping all his iron. It's not looking very good for him, especially when you have no diamond on deck. Absolutely. Look at this. This look at what you were saying earlier, Momo. This is the kind of play you want for Steve. You don't want him to get anything. Because remember that one game you saw with D-Dog and Yoga Cage? He had resources at all times. He had everything. He had 10,000 iron blocks. But now with Quid constantly on top of him, we are seeing nothing. We see three iron, one stone, two wood, and two dirt. That is literally nothing. And he finally gets diamond, but he takes it away with that vine whip. Insane conversion. That's my favorite part of watching Quid. Those conversions off of those straight Ivysaur hits. You think Ivysaur, you think only Squirrel's the combo character, but instead Ivysaur comes in here with these insane conversions. And quando has got some conversions of his own. Honestly, he's still in this game considering how he's just got all his materials. Absolutely. Look, all oh, right. D-Dog, again, struggling, trying to get as little uh, bit of mining as, as he could as possible with the limited amount of time that Quid finally get, uh, gives him. Finally getting hit by the minecart and finally getting a little bit more percentage on Quid as well, but it's all really for not when he's giving up all this beautiful aerial positioning uh, for Quid and even wisely, thankfully, not getting hit by the F-Smash right there, but that attack is going to send uh, D-Dog straight back out into the air. Oh, he pops out, that amazing cover to the nice. Elijah, but still not able to take the stock mm -hmm. just yet. Now Quid opting for the back throw, still not going to close it out. But these Razor Leaves putting the pressure on, trying to find the Nair here, trying to find the catch. Pops up over the ledge with the Razor Leaf once again. Quid looking to take the stock soon. Nair, air dodge down from D-Dog, still hanging on to this game. Honestly, he's not looking very good at this point. He opts for another dash attack. Dash attack kind of coming in oh, close, but so is that minecart. You already know how strong that minecart is. But look at Quid immediately going to Charizard, wanting to take off this game. Immediately going in for uh, just wants to get a nice 2-0 over uh, over D Dog right now. But Charizard is big, Charizard is heavy. He is going to be so susceptible to these uh, to these up tilt combos that D Dog is very well known for. What can we see here? Oh, this is so close. D Dog literally with max rage is definitely with Steve. This is definitely doable. Quid's got to be careful here. That dash that coming out still surviving. Amazing DI there from D Dog. Can you look how big pops the out? Wait a minute! <laughs> look how big the minecart is, I'm sick. That's a, that's a mine train at that point, oh my god. Oh, trying to get it. Oh, that could have been a humongous punish off the extremely charged F smash, but instead, like I was gonna look for, that tail's always gonna be right behind you, bro. Oh, always. Oh, there we go, Quid. Playing, no matter which Pokemon he has, using that Squirtle F tilt.